once again um, we're going to start off with this topic um, in S1 in statistics this is our first topic the different measures of average okay so you have three different types um, first one is the mean and the second one is the median and the third one is the mode okay now in fact all of you who are doing AS maths or A2 maths you would have already done GCSE maths and you would have encountered these in GCSE maths okay and um, you all know what the mean is mean is what everyone is familiar with it's basically the average score so let's say on a given Saturday um, there were two goals in one game three goals in another game four goals in another game and uh, two goals in another game and one goal in another game all right so the mean score for that Saturday per game would be this all all of this added up and the number of games which is five so that is 12 divided by 5 which is 2.4 goals now that's the mean okay now you know that from primary school all right next we look at what the median is all right so I'll, I'll use this all right so with the, for the median what you'd have to do is you'd have to arrange everyone in the data set in ascending order all right so one comes first and then it's two and then another two and then it's three and then it's four all right so for a median you'd have to arrange everyone in ascending order all right now with the edX cell this is what they specify when you have to work out the median okay um, you do n by 2 all right that's all what you do all right n stands for the number of entries okay for the number of games in this case okay number of entries okay right so we have five entries we divided by two therefore it's 2.5 all right now this is what edXL states all right if the number that you got or the two the position you've got 2.5 position now that's a decimal what you've got to do is you've got to round it up okay which is the third okay so I've got to say make a special note of this round up I've got to round this up so I will look I'm looking for a third person which is one, two, three. So two is a median score. All right. So the third person is two. So two goals is the median score. Okay, for this particular data set. All right. Now um, let me choose another data set. So let me add another goal number to this. Okay. Let me add um, another four, another five. Okay. All right. Um, so you have six games now so now you've got to find the median again so that's number of entries divided by two so that's six divided by two that's the third person all right now if it's a whole number all right the position of the median is a whole number you go for the number that you get after dividing the number of entries by two and add another one to it which is the fourth okay so the third and the fourth all right third and the fourth and then you add the, those two values and you divide it by two okay so the third value here is two all right third value here is is this two i'm afraid sorry i meant to point out that two there and the fourth value is this three so it's two plus three divided by two so the median now is 2.5 because that's five i divided by two is 2.5 so that's 2.5 goals okay so if you have even number of entries if you divide it by 2 you'll get a get a, a whole number answer all right in that case you'll have to go for that answer plus the position above that answer the two values that you get for those which is the third and the fourth in this case so that's two two and three respectively and you add them two values and then you divide it by two okay but if you uh, if you had to divide an odd number you would invariably end up with a decimal answer then you got to round up and that position the number you have at that position is the median entry all right good okay now the lastly we've got to look at the mode all right so the mode um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with is the most frequent entry so in both data sets I'll go for the one the one that has only four goals which is this most frequent there is two all right because you have two goals being scored twice okay 
right so the most frequent is two all right okay all right so now you'll have to work out the mean median and mode for grouped frequency tables as well okay now by that what i mean is this all right so let's say you had um quite a number of games played on a given saturday all right okay so we have the scores the total goals goal scored in 12 games okay you have 12 entries here and i create a little table to summarize my data all right so i make here a little tally chart here all right and then i can figure out the frequency okay of each person of um, the number of games you have where it's zero one two so the number of games where zero goals were scored was one one goals was two three goal two goals was four three goals was three and four goals was one and one all right so here's your um, group frequency table all right so you have your raw data you create a ch tally chart and you get your frequency table all right now um, you wouldn't be asked to do this they'll just give you this the goals column and the F column the frequency column okay from this you'll have to work out what the mean median and the mode are all right first we'll look at how you'd work out the mean okay now if you have this you just add these all up and divide it by 12 okay but if they gave you a frequency table um, you'd have to times this F and you call this X okay F times X all right so you have zero uh, one game where zero goals are scored okay one game two games where one goals are scored so you would add these two so that's same as multiplying this times this which is two four games or two game two goals are scored so that's equivalent to adding this 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 and this so that's multiplying two by four which is eight and i'll do the rest nine four and five okay okay now i work them all out and I, if i add them all up i get 28 which is same as adding all of these up okay you get you have you you had 28 goals in 12 games okay so that you use this notation you call that sum of okay we're going to start using these symbols that symbol here sort of a um an e with straight lines sum of fx okay you add each individual term of fx okay which is 28 okay and then what you do you've got to know how many games that were played which is 12 all right so that's also you give this notation sum of f so let me put a mark around it sum of f and sum of fx and the mean for a group frequency table would be the sum of fx divided by the sum of f okay so which is 28 divided by 12 okay now the answer to that is 2.33 okay now what if you are asked to work out the median all right um for the median you need to arrange all the scores in ascending order okay now this is not in ascending order so what should we do now all right it's actually been arranged in ascending order here all right it's been arranged in ascending order here all right so you had one zero and then you'd have two ones so zero one one and then you have four twos, so that's zero one one four uh, zero one one two 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 two. All right, so it's been as yeah, it's been arranged in ascending order here. All right, so okay, I've drawn out this table once more. Okay, so what you'd have to do here, um, it'll really help if you have this other column called cumulative frequency column. Okay. All right so basically what you do is you keep adding the frequencies okay um, one after the other so the first column would have only one whereas here you would have three you added this to this and then you'd have to add this to this which would be seven and then seven to three which would be ten ten to one which is eleven eleven to one which is all which is twelve all right so the median is actually the person in the middle all right so you have the zero as the first person then two people who have two games where you had one goal each and then four games we had two goals okay so the median is the total number divided by uh, two so which is a sixth okay now if this if you've got a um integer answer you've got to go for that position and one above so you got to go for the sixth plus the seventh divided by two 
so the sixth would fall into this category okay all right so the first person is zero second and third is one third fourth fifth sixth and seventh are two all right so sixth and seventh they're both two so two plus two divided by two you still end up with two goals okay so that's the median okay so that's the median all right and uh, to work out the mode it's quite straightforward you go for the one which has the most number which is two all right so the mod is two goals okay now there are certain instances where you'd show the median to be a better average than a mean all right than the mean all right now you all remember what happened uh, a few weeks back uh, manchester united mod arsenal my favorite team eight two all right now if i were to include that into this table now that game had um eight one sorry uh, is it eight two eight two yes eight two so that had that game had ten goals all right now that just just that one game now would f would bring up this tally of goals to twenty two goals all right so twenty two goals scored in that sorry um would bring up this tally of twenty eight goals to thirty eight goals so thirty eight goals scored in thirty in thirteen games okay now that would pull up this average quite a bit wouldn't it okay now I'll show you what I'm trying to say okay you have 12 games here and the goal scored in the 12 games okay but let's say you had another game where there were 10 goals scored all right so that means I'll have to say number of goals here 10 and there is one game where that was scored so that will make the frequency so let me um, show the modification in red so that's 13 games now and then you have to add 10 as well so that's 38 all right so that's 38 divided by 13 which is almost 3 okay it's almost 3 okay so that made the average go up by quite a bit okay all right so our mean was 2.33 but now the mean is almost 3 because of that one entry now that's an anomalous result isn't it very rarely you'd get a game where you'd have 10 games scored 10 goals scored okay so um so it gives a wrong impression that the average number of goals scored in premiership or in football you know in whatever league this is um is is three whereas it really ought to be somewhere um around 2.3 okay just because of that one game all right so in this instance you wouldn't want to look at the mean to to identify the average goals okay you would want to look at the median okay the median um, eliminates the effect of extreme values all right that's why you choose the median sometimes or the mid uh, uh, the mean okay you choose the median or the mean sometimes okay because if I were to work out the median now in this modified table okay now I have 13 people 13 games so that's 13 divided by 2 which is 6.5 so I'm looking for the 6.5th person so I round up so that's the seventh person okay so the seventh person would be will be still inside this category which is two okay so my median has still not changed even though I have this one extreme value okay but my mean though is is affected very badly by it and has brought up the uh, mean from 2.33 to 3 okay so that's the advantage of you using the mean to identify an average, uh, uh, the median to identify an average over a mean. The median eliminates um, the effects of extreme values. All right. Okay. Okay. I've just um, written out a few more things so that this um, second bit looks a bit more clearer when you review my notes. Okay. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you shortly on my next video. Bye bye.